What's going on everybody? This is Tedro for ADSR and today we're going to be checking out the CLA MixHub plugin by Waves. The MixHub plugin gives you access to the tools developed by Chris Lord Algae, who's a Grammy award winning music producer. The MixHub gives you access to tools that can help you take your mix to the next level, but then it also gives you tools to help you in your mixing workflow. Let's dig into the MixHub. So what I have here is this pop rock demo that I've been working on and I really wanna help improve some of the things in the mix. So I wanna go ahead and take a look at the guitars, the bass, as well as some parts of the drums. And I'm gonna do that using the CLA Mix Hub. So the first thing we'll take a look at are the guitars, but let me just play you the mix so you can see what it sounds like. Kind of like your basic power pop hook right there. But I want to try to liven up this mix by potentially bringing that lead guitar out a bit more. So let me open up the CLA Mix Hub on the lead guitar. And I'm actually going to go ahead and select one of the presets. So I'm going to go and look for the Solo Guitar 2. I think it has a more full sound than Solo Guitar 1. And let's just see what applying that preset to this lead guitar channel does for the sound. Without. And with. Already that lead sounds way better and sits in a much better spot in the mix, but let's look at the CLA Mix Hub and see what's actually happening. So there's three main components to the CLA Mix Hub. You've got your input component, which has the Chris Lord Algae kind of custom filters on there, and it has some ability to add some analog warmth or noise to your track as well. And then you have your EQ component, which gives you access to frequencies and frequency levels. And then you have your dynamics component. So that has a compressor and an expander. The compressor, you can switch between a desk compressor and a bluey compressor. I've been tending to like the sound of the desk compressor, but let me just do an A-B test really quick. This is the bluey. And this is the desk. For the lead guitar in this section, I'm definitely gonna leave it on the bluey. It has a much brighter sound and it sits a little bit nicer in the mix. What I am gonna do is back off the output a little bit just because I think it added a bit too much volume. So again, just by using a preset, we went from this to this. already a million times better just with a preset and it's super convenient to have access to the input signal the EQ and the compressor all in one hub also really cool about the CLA mix hub is you can add in all your other waves plugins right within the mix hub so if I press this plus button plugins list I can go ahead and add any of my other waves plugins so say I wanted to add a reverb to this lead I could go ahead and do that. And it opens it up directly in the mix hub, so no separate window or anything. And of course, I can change the arrangement of these components. including the components that are already in MixHub. I'm gonna take that reverb off for now. And let's go ahead and take a look at the rhythm guitar. So let's go ahead and add in the CLA MixHub's heavy guitar preset onto this. I know it's not a heavy guitar, but I think I like the way it sounds. Here's before. Way boxier. And then after, you can see we're brightening things up on the higher levels. We're pulling back a bit from the lower level. We've got this extra wide feature here, and that's going to help me add width to this guitar. So if I turn this on, 
It sounds very wet, sounds very affected, it's very wide, which I like, but I want to pull back on it a little bit so it's not as extreme. And I can do that with this knob here. So I'm just going to push it a little bit closer towards mono. So this is without that width, it's very much dead center. The width kind of gets it out of the way. Let's see what it sounds like in the mix. I like how I still get that texture of the guitar, but now it's spread out a little further. And this is something that you would normally have to do with a different plugin or a different effect, and it's built right into the mix hub, which I really appreciate. Let's jump down to the bass guitar. I'm going to go ahead and use the bass amp preset for this. Turn it on. It's got that nice gritty texture now. So let's go ahead and listen to it before. And of course, these filters are just starting points, but I really like where they're starting from. And of course, Chris Lord Algae is a Grammy Award winning producer who's worked with Green Day and Muse, so his kind of starting recipe here is going to sound great right out of the box. But you still have the room to craft your own sound out of it. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. But I think I'm probably going to switch the compressor to desk here which gives it a little bit of a deeper sound. Here before. That comes down to preference. Again, this is before mix up entirely. And then through the mix up. Another really convenient component of the mix hub is that you can look at each of the different components, input, EQ, and dynamics, and then you can adjust the parameters for both left and right individually or link them. So let's say I wanted to do some interesting things with my mix. I could unlink this EQ, add a little more top end to the left. And that gives me a little bit more width without using the you know, extra wide feature here. Or of course you can have them linked. And adjust them that way. There's one more aspect of the song I want to go ahead and tailor a little bit with the mix hub and that is the kick drum. So the drums on this track are MIDI drums. And it's very hard to get a natural warm sound from digital MIDI drums, but I think the Mix Hub does a really good job, especially with the kick drum. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the kick in preset. And let's go ahead and give it a listen. Just the drums before CLA. It's fine. It's a little dead. Let's go ahead and add on to that kick drum much more punchy and I could bring down that compression mix too if I don't want to overdo it but yeah here's before and after and let's hear that all together in the mix It gets totally lost without the mix up plugin. And then you turn on the mix hub and it's cutting through the mix, but it's not overpowering any of the other frequencies. It's not getting in the way of the bass guitar. Everything is kind of sitting where it's supposed to sit.
So through the CLA Mix Hub's different components, you can have quick access to all the things you need on your sounds, adding warmth to your input signal, EQing and fine tuning the sound. You also have your compressor and expander to really work with your dynamics. But there's another really convenient feature of the Mix Hub that's gonna help your overall mixing workflow, which is called buckets. So if I switch from channel view to bucket view, I have eight different buckets that I can now put any of my instances of mix hub into. So let me just assign all of my mix hubs to bucket one. So all four that we just worked with are now in a bucket together. And what's great about this is when you're working on really large projects and you're bouncing back and forth trying to mix, you kind of have to jump between individual tracks or buses and figure out how your mix is doing. And if you hear something, you dive deeper into that track but you can't see it all at once. But with MixHub, you can. So since these are all in the same bucket, I'm now able to observe the input, the EQ, the dynamics, and the output all from a single screen. And I can do that with eight tracks on one bucket across eight different buckets, which actually gives me access to 64 tracks, potentially, from a single plugin window. So when I'm mixing and I'm listening to the whole broader mix, if I think I want to make an adjustment to the kick drum, I can do it from this screen. But if as I'm doing that, I'm thinking about the lead guitar, that's also right here as well. So I won't get lost into diving into different plugins or diving into different channel strips. It's all in a single screen. And that's a huge help for your workflow. And you can assign all eight different buckets to something different. So I could assign one bucket to just be guitars. And when you start having projects with more and more tracks, lead guitar, rhythm guitar, you might have a second rhythm guitar or a harmonized lead, and you could visualize it all from a single screen. And it will really help you fine tune your mixing a lot faster. All right, so really quick, let's go ahead and listen to this track before applying the CLA Mix Hub to the rhythm guitar, lead guitar, bass, and kick drum. It's fine, but it's lacking a little bit. Now let's throw on Mix Hub to all of those. And with very little fine tuning and using the presets of the Mix Hub, we already have a much more professional sounding mix much faster. I think that's the biggest aspect of the Mix Hub is how quickly it's gonna improve your workflow, how quickly you'll be able to get a professional sound and the efficiency in which you can look at your whole mix from a single window using Bucket View. Let us know what you think about the CLA Mix Hub in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. This has been Tatra for ADSR. Have a good one.